Like I always mention, it be them in-between workouts too, y'all. What I mean by that, it's not just squats, it's not the standard pull-ups, it's not just the standard push-ups, you know? It's about moving in directions and in ways where your body could function and operate just on a daily, you know, doing what you do throughout the day and certain movements. If you, let's just say, you vacuuming your car, you know, you wanna be able to lean over the seat. You wanna be able to do certain things. If you gotta change a flat tire, if you have to, you know, be in an awkward position, changing a light fixture, you wanna be able to have the stability and be able to concentrate because your body is is strong enough to maintain itself and to get the job done. You know, this ain't just for looks. This ain't just to, it's to be able to perform at your best. You want healthy knees? Jump around, you gotta jump on them. You know, the, the knees, your knees, you gotta do explosive push-ups and stuff like that. It's explosive movements that uh, keep your joints nice and healthy, nice and, you know, they're like springboards, you know? You wanna keep that active. You don't wanna bend over and feel like you're pulling something. You don't wanna stretch to grab an item and feel like you, you became stiff all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? You, you wanna avoid those, you know, these, these limitations that the body that's not being worked on will have to deal with. Hey son, good job. Yeah, you doing your thing son, good job. Got it now. Yeah, on that type of time. Then when you do these type of movements such as the jumping lunges, as I'm doing, then you incorporate your squats. You right. Like I said, in my opinion, it's more than just doing an exercise one way. And that was limitations I placed on myself at a time. And it wasn't until I switched up my model in terms of various different exercises that I was able to become better become more enthusiastic and to enjoy. Because working out, yes, we make that claim of working hard, overtraining, and all those, you know, very demanding terms of uh, getting your best workout. But let's also not forget about the conditioning. 
the uh, the pasting yourself, the building up, the getting used to, all these different things that also require you to reach a certain status in terms of your fitness journey, in terms of your fitness status overall. Let's go. Don't let nobody fool you. For you to do 10 jumping squats straight, it's a lot of energy, you know? It's a lot of energy, y'all. Believe that. So don't minimize the work that you do because of other opinions or other status uh, labels that, you know, can really cause a lot of individuals become discouraged. Put the work in. Yo, my man, you good? All right. But I'm not gonna not tell you to, ch to not challenge yourself. You better do that, of course. You sure you wanna be in the park in the gym on this nice day? I can, I, I, you know, I can guess right, right now. At the gym, there's less people there today, okay? Especially when you have a, and the beautiful thing about this time of the year, what I like is that your days are longer. So you'll be able to get a workout in much earlier in the day and have a significant amount of time for the rest of the day. It doesn't get dark till about eight o'clock or so. So take advantage, you know?
a little bit? No. Huh? No. Give me a little bit, okay? We'll be out. Damn, I think I got out of camera view, y'all. My fault. My fault. My fault, y'all. What are your thoughts on yoga, Seven Fitness? Yeah, pardon me. Yeah, Kareem. Um, my thoughts on yoga, if you're still in the building, Kareem, is... uh. I never paid much attention to it. However, I think that like anything else, perform properly and in that regard, there's great benefits. Um, to my understanding, a lot of it is stretching involved, being um, positioned in certain ways um of the body being positioned um such as in the pretzel or indian um sitting in indian stand uh sitting down in the indian form and so i think that it has great benefits in it you know um again done properly and uh so yeah you know for those who who do yoga i think that also, I think that one should be well-rounded, as I always mention. Whether you do yoga, whether you do CrossFit, whether you do weightlifting, powerlifting, calisthenics, I just feel like everything that one is able to apply in their fitness, you know, way of life, that should, all things should be incorporated one way or another. That's just my opinion. Um, I like to be well-rounded, as I mentioned before. I like to be explosive. I like to be strong. I like to be agile. I like to be spunky. I like to be light on the feet. And I like to be also very firm and planted to the ground to where I'm not easily being toppled over. I'm not off balance for no reason. You know, the slightest thing doesn't just throw off my equilibrium in terms of, you know, looking to, you know, grab something to, to, to hold myself and, you know, so again, I just feel like being well-rounded with so many different exercises that are, you know, available to our, you know, fitness journey. But yeah, you know. I don't got, I don't, you know, so my thoughts on, on yoga, you know, if it works for you, you know, execute it, but also do other exercises, you know, 